It's your girl Nikki Live here, here to do the review for season five, episode four, Second Chances of Power. Uh, before we get started with this review, might be a long one, hopefully not. I just want to state for the record, like I stated before in my previous reviews for this season, I do not wish, <clears throat> excuse me, I do not wish Ghost, James, Jamie, whoever, whoever, whoever he is today. On any female for a fucking damn husband. He is the worst type of husband. Let's move on and proceed. So it starts off with the three musketeers. Kanan, Tommy, and Ghost. Beating up whatever case may be. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get to the Jimenez. Right? Boom. So in the midst of the conversation, Kanan, old sneaky, sneaky, devious ass, sticking to, stick, stick to his plan. You say, hey, why don't we uh, ask, you know, uh... Your daddy Tony Teresa, ain't he out yet? <laughs> Bruh, I was dead boots. So, you know, Ghost looking shot like, what, he out? You ain't tell me, nigga, you ain't tell me? What the fuck going on? I thought, I thought, I thought me and you was good. I thought we was family, Tommy. So Tommy looking at Kane like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Why you always talking about goddamn business, bro? So, you know, Ghost like, hey, yo, let me holler at you, Tommy. Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you in private. So, Kanan go over to his, so first he act like he was hurt, but then he walk over to the side, and he's just smirking his ass off, smirk, smirking his ass off, because his plan is getting put in place better than what he thought it was going to go. So, as Ghost and Tommy are having their conversation, Ghost reminds Tommy, hey, yo, we don't know why this motherfucker is out. We don't know if he's don't we don't know if he legit. We don't know this nigga was supposed to have a fucking life sentence. How the fuck is, how the fuck and why the fuck is he out? And then he goes on to tell Tommy, hey yo, don't tell this motherfucker shit about what the fuck we do. Nothing, nigga. Nothing. Let's not forget he don't blackmail me twice. You feel me? So also in the conversation, it comes out that Proctor has known for a few days as well, behind Tony being out. Let's move on. Next thing we see, I, I believe, is Ta uh, Tasha in the bed sleep. And, you know, next to the bed, we see her with a bottle. We see that, that there's a bottle of pills along with a glass of wine on the nightstand. So, ghosts come in the bedroom loud as fuck. Like, hey, hey, yo, Tasha, wake up. And I'm looking like, Nigga, why are you so motherfucker aggressive? Why is there so much bass in your voice? Why are you yelling like that, G? What the fuck? So he decides to go over, you know, grab her, her arm with Kiss and B, and she wakes up. So he went out like he all concerned with Kiss and B, and like he, like, like, like he concerned about her well-being. And he like, yo, what's these pills about? What's all this right here going on about? So she like, you know, the doctor prescribed these to me. I haven't been able to sleep well since Raina has passed. It's something for me to go to sleep with. So instead of maybe talking to his wife about he's concerned about her, especially her mixing the pills in the drug, especially mixing the pills and the alcohol together, that that ain't a good look. Oh no, this nigga go on to say some shit like, um, "Hey, I need you. For, I need for you to get up, get the baby dressed. We want to go out to this uh to the banquet." Uh, fundraiser, whatever case may be, for uh the Q the QVC QCB project. So as soon as he don't get what he want or get the answer that he wants, cause Tasha say, you know, I'm real tired. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I can't fake the day. Blah blah blah. This motherfucker, this motherfucker, this motherfucker gonna say, Tasha, you just selfish. And I'm looking at my TV like, did this nigga just call his wife selfish? After you cheated on her multiple times with the same bitch, you left your goddamn house for this bitch. This bitch locked you the fuck up. She stood, she stood, she rolled with you on that, she rolled with you on that goddamn charge. You feel me? Roll with you on that goddamn charge. Roll with your ass when, roll with your ass when you got the fuck out of jail. Then y'all child get, you know, saying get murdered. And you treating her like she ain't shit? Like, my nigga, like, what in the entire hell, Jesus? I can't deal. Let's move on. 
but you self, but she's selfish. Okay, nigga, I see you, and you cancel, my nigga. You cancel. Let's move on. So, let's keep in mind, Ghost is losing his shit, and I'm here for the shenanigans. I'm glad he's losing his shit. So, he go over the truth, the party going, the party bumping. We got all white and black high society going on, kicking it in the goddamn club. So, Ghost is going through, like I said, he's losing his shit. He go talk to the goddamn bartender. You know, saying trying to go over the, you know, go over what they discussed earlier, and the dude was like, "Hey, I got it, bro. I, I remember we are gonna have all the damn cups or the glasses. They gonna be filled with liquor. I got you. I'm on my job. On my J O B, bro. So his answer ain't good enough. He get mad, and be like, "You heard me, nigga. Keep all the damn glasses filled." <laughs> Excuse me. So as he's having his little mini meltdown with the damn bartender and shit, Shade overhears the shit and sees what the fuck going on. So he go walk over to Ghost and he like, hey, you know, you all right? You good? We, we, you know, we're Tosh yet. So he explains to uh, 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 Tate, you know, she's not here. She didn't feel well, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, you know, I'm going to give her speech. Tate immediately says... I don't think that's a good idea. Once you let me go ahead and handle that, you go ahead and mix and mingle with everybody else around here. So let's pause. Even though we don't like Tate, I, well, I like Tate, right? Right now, I like Tate. Even though we know Tate ain't shit, even though we know he is a snake in the grass, and even though we know he is out to get ghosts, y'all, we, we cannot deny the fact that Tate has not been giving ghosts some good motherfucker advice, good mother, some good motherfucker them uh, pointers. Case in point tonight, when, I mean, case in point that night at the club, when he said, hey, yo, let me do the speech, you just, you just mix and mingle around everybody else, I'll do that, that was good fucking advice, it's not Tate's fault that this nigga don't want to fucking listen to what the hell he's saying, it's not Tate's fault that, oh, this nigga want to be alpha dog every day all day, you feel me, it ain't Tate's fault. That this nigga is cracking, you know what I'm saying, under pressure. You feel me? They ain't, they ain't take fault. Let's move on. So, Ghost, whatever he does, he, he, he do what he want to do. He go up on stage, you know, blah, 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 starts his little speech, whatever. It's going good for half a second. Then all of a sudden, he happens to see uh, Raina, fucking damn Ghost. Her spirit, her face, her, 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 her whole manifestation. <laughs> Of a bean in a young ch chocolate girl's face. You feel me? So he decides to get his ass down off the stage, grab a little girl up, and the mom and dad looking like, nigga, what the fuck is you doing with our daughter? So not only do they back up for his ass, looking at him like he touched by a goddamn angel, everybody else in the club looking at him like, this nigga is touched by a goddamn angel. So I'm glad Tate did not come and save him from the wrath because he just told your dumb ass, hey, I handled the goddamn speech. Sit your dumb ass down. So that didn't go too well. So the next day, he 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 he's sitting and drinking at his damn desk. You know, he gets a little phone call for the fundraiser dude. He like, you know, it ain't go too good. We forty percent behind. Uh, blah blah. We may have may have to may have to delay the groundbreaking. And he's like, no no, that's a good that, that, that's gonna be all right. I'm gonna have some prior money coming in. Blah 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 blah. Pasha come in. And she's like, you know, hey, how'd it go, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you know, I saw her. You know, she's like, saw who? She's like, you know, I, I saw Raina, blah, blah, blah. And I have a little moment. She's like, yeah, I see her every day, blah, blah, blah. And just when you would think these two are going to have a bonding fucking moment between the two of them. Oh, no, that's not what the fuck happened. That's not, that's not what the fuck went down. Again, this nigga flipped the goddamn script. And that motherfucker said... I broke down giving your speech. And bitch, had you been in to give your speech, none of this shit would have happened. It's your fault, Tasha. Then this nigga had the audacity, you feel me? The motherfucker big balls. <laughs> the shoulder check this bitch. Like this. Like he bumped her hard as fuck. Like nigga. <clears throat> he bumped her. Like, she was a whole nigga on the damn street. He bumped her like niggas bump each other back in the day when you were in uh, uh, elementary school and y'all be showing this shoulder. Y'all like, no, nah, nigga, you hit me first. Hit me first. Uh, you hit me. You hit me. 
He did one of them moves, bro. And I'm looking like, bro, this nigga is canceled. Let's move on. So, <laughs> let's move on to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Tommy and motherfucker damn, uh, 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 his, his daddy, Teresa. So, they having a motherfucker father son moment at the damn grave site. You know, Teresa, Teresa explained, to his, explained to Tommy, you know, hey, by his grandparents, my, my dad, my mom, here are our plots, blah, blah. Me and Connie going to be, be, be uh, buried over here, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. So, Tommy was like, yeah, okay, good information. Thanks for the bonding. Okay, all right. So, they get over to the house, to, to Tony's house, so that case may be. He on the phone talking to Jason. And Jason basically telling this nigga, telling Tommy, hey, where my fucking, where my fucking bread at? You have my bread? Or better yet, are the Jimenez dead yet? What, 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 what you doing? So, basically, and Mr. him having that conversation, uh, 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 Tony ear hustling. You feel me? How to get some information. So, as soon as he got the phone with Jason... And, um, he comes Tony asking 103 questions, you feel me? So, who's on the phone? Who's on the phone, son? Uh, can I help you with anything, son? Who are you throwing a party for? Uh, do you need me to come help you? And Tony, Tommy looking at him like, nigga, why are you asking me 103 questions about my motherfucking business? What the fuck? So, he side-eyeing that nigga. He's like, no, nah, I'm good, pops. Thanks, anyway. Maybe next time. Deuce. And he pulls fuck off. So let's move on. Let's move on to motherfucking damn Thought Box and her motherfucking damn crew. Thought Box is having a goddamn meeting with that case, whatever case may be. And so they so they, they decided they're going to lean on Artur, Arturo to get the whereabouts of where the Jimenez are. So they bring this motherfucker in. He broke down in 3.5810 seconds. <laughs> I was like, God damn. That nigga folded in 8.53452 seconds. Bruh, that nigga said, I ain't this motherfucker murder. I ain't the motherfucker destroy. <laughs> that nigga was just talking. You feel me? How do he? How do he even get in the goddamn game? Like I, I can't. So let's move on. So basically, he don't gave all the motherfucker down the uh, gave us the information as to where the damn plug was gonna be at when they gonna leave. Let's move on. So Alicia don't pull up on my motherfucking drink. Right, boom. She's like, you know, what's the deal? What's going on? It's bad news. I, you know, I don't want to hear bad news X, Y, and Z. So he basically spilled the beans. So Dre basically, basically spilled the beans. and like, you know, hey, it's a $60,000 it's a $60, uh, hole that can't be filled with any magical uh, 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 fixing of the books right now. I can't, I can't fix the books. So come find out, this nigga, don't, this nigga damn uh, uh, Diego don't ran up a tab of sixty k, rent off some bar girls. He, he, he doing all kind of fuck shit. He making a, he making the damn block hot. So at least you're like, okay, I handle this shit. Wait for further instructions. Move on. So let's move on, motherfucking damn Tate and motherfucking Dre. So we see Tate in his office talking shit. You know, getting a little liquor together, where I guess man, be blah blah blah. And he's like, you know, it'll be a good opportunity, blah blah blah. But we don't see who he's talking to until he sit down at his desk. He's talking to motherfucking damn Andre. <laughs> He like, Andre, it'll be a good thing. You know, I want you to be a face of the Q QVC project. I blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a good look for you. Good look for me. You should think, you know, you really, you really should consider it. So, Dre is like, you know, I'm good. I got friends in high places, whatever the case may be. And better yet, how this going to help me, bro? How, how me being the face of X, Y, and Z going to help me out, bro? So, at, at the time, he's like, the fucking shit. I don't want no parts of it. He walked the fuck off. But before he leave out, Tate tells, um, Tate tells Dre, never underestimate the, the, uh, the appearance, whatever, of a good public figure, I mean, a good public, a good public, uh, image, that's what we said, never underestimate the value of a good public image, so he walks out, so let's move on to motherfucking damn, um, Kanan, so Kanan, and his two dummy ass soldier, toy soldiers and shit. They're meeting up. And uh Kane like, hey, here go a gun, here go two guns, here go some motherfucking blanks. Nigga, use these blanks. Do not shoot these motherfuckers for real. We're just going to scare them. That's it, that's all. And all you gotta do is be in and out. 
shoot them up with the damn blanks, and just pin them out. They're like, all right, all right, all right, cool. But let me tell you how smart Ghost, I mean, how smart Kana is. He knew that these two dumb motherfuckers, motherfuckers, motherfuckers were not going to go through with the plan. So, bam, he, he texts Tommy, yeah, because may be, blah, blah, blah. Tommy said, yeah, let's meet up at 1130, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. So, as Tommy and his crew, Vince and them, whatever, coming out of the motherfucking restaurant, blah, blah, blah. And at the very last minute, these two, these two Nimrods decide they want to fucking chain out the blanks with the damn real bullets. I'm like, these dumb motherfuckers. So stupid. So, okay, boom. They, they speed up the street. Call their ass, doing 80. <laughs> and they start blasting real bullets. Two of the dudes get hit. One, one in the leg and another one get hit. Blah, blah, And here come Kanan swooping in, blasting their ass. He had to kill their asses because not only were they a loose end, then you use real fucking bullets like a dumbass, like I told your dumbass not to fucking do. So he ended up killing his two young, he, he ended up killing his two hitters as well. So him and Vincent link up. He tell Vincent, he, he put a little bug in Vincent ear like, hey, this this an old drug beef with Tommy, blah, blah, blah. Let's move on. Again, Kanan is one of the smartest people on this show at this time. Because, again, all the pieces of his of, of his game is coming together every fucking episode. And Vincent was just another damn piece of his puzzle. Let's move on. So now, we talk about motherfucking Tony and his goddamn wife, Connie. Which I fuck was I fuck with Connie. So again, everybody try to figure out. No, sorry. Let me before I go there. Let me go to Tony Teresi and his family's party. So again, everybody's trying to figure out how and why the fuck this nigga is home. How is this nigga home? And he was supposed to be doing a life bid. And not to mention you have already been a good 25, 30 years already. Let's move on. So this nigga's having the whole uh, La Familia get together, like this may be. He the guest of honor, blah blah blah. blah. Now the port, the important part of this scene was as they were giving his as as, as they were you know you know uh, 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 congregating amongst themselves. This is right hand dude was like, hey yo, you don't think it's weird that you know after thirty years this nigga out and about something ain't right about that bullshit. This is like, you know, everybody he can snitch on and basically dead, X, Y, and Z. You know, even you know, even if he even if he is snitching, them niggas is dead. You know, he don't know shit about us. Feel me? But Vincent the dude was like, nah, bruh, I'm not feeling this shit. He's come home all of a sudden, nah, bruh. Nigga ain't feeling that shit at all. So again, everybody trying to figure out how and why he needs to fuck home at the oldest time. Now let's move on back to Connie and um Um Teresa. Again, Connie is overhearing uh, 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 t- uh, Tony talking, talking, talking to Mark on the phone. So she's like, hey, who's on that motherfucking mother- phone? And nigga, don't you fucking lie to me, because I know you too fucking well. Even though you've been locked up all that goddamn time, nigga, I still know you. So they say, so, so it's, they have a conversation at the goddamn seat, I mean, at the goddamn table. And Tony basically, Tony basically tells her, you know, I got out to be with you on your last days. I cut a deal X, Y, and Z. So kind of looking like, oh, so you a rat now, my nigga? Oh, you, you did you down in these streets? Where they do that shit at? And the way she looked at that nigga, she had a look of total disappointment and disgust, all in one fucking look at her, at her for her husband. She looked fucking disgusted. When he said, you know, when she said, oh, so now you ratting now? You a rat now? Yo, she looked fucking disgusted. Now, as they having that conversation, Tommy beat, you know, bam at the door, bam at the door. So, Tommy, Tony lets him in, and he's like, hey, you good, you good, you good? We just, you know, just just, just a, a drive-by, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. I was going to check on you. So, again, Tony's asking him, you know, hey, everything good? Let me in, let me in, let me in. And it cuts to that scene. So we don't know if Tommy said anything or said he said anything or not. Move on. Uh oh. Let's go back to the Jimenez. So like we said, Arturo snitch ass. Don't told it all, right? Boom. So the Jimenez are getting ready to leave the country or leave wherever they're leaving from, right? Or leave the state, whatever. They're wherever they're going to, right? 
So they have a little meeting between a little impromptu meeting between Diego, Alicia, um, 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 Dre, and Cristobal, right? So basically, Alicia gives uh, no Diego gives uh, Dre Dre the sixty k that he that was old, and Alicia makes Diego apologize to uh, uh, Dre. She also tells them tells them that hey. Stop fucking with Andre Diego. He's in charge of the motherfucking them clubs. Uh, but going forward, I want uh Crystal Ball to learn the books. So when you're out of the country and you're not here, he know how to run the goddamn books. Excuse me. Additionally, going forward, I want the Paris location locked down. All this shit happened in the conversation. So okay, so they're going to the damn uh. So they're going, but 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 this but let's pause. As they're going to the damn plane, and before the cops pulled up, I had to, I had to pause it because I had on I had my uh, my uh, thing on a uh, closed caption. And Diego and Alicia are speaking in Spanish. Alicia tells her brother in Spanish, they think we're not on the same page. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Now that's all I want to keep that shit in mind going forward. She says they think that we're not on the same page. So at this time is coming, Dre and Cristobal are going in their car, speeding off. So as they're going, DEA, FBI are coming this way, hauling ass. So I'm like, okay, oh shit. So they 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 uh they uh, arrest Diego, they arrest Alicia, <laughs> and this dumbass bitch thought box. <laughs> she tells Alicia in Spanish, "Got you now, bitch." At least she's looking at her like, really, bitch? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's, okay, so let, let's get to the good part. So, they all celebrating back at the office, cheering. <laughs> cheering and shit, you know, all good job, stop box, and, you know, we took them down. Blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. Oh, I'm finna go with questioning Alicia Hernandez. I mean, Alicia Jimenez, blah, blah, blah. Baby, ding dong, the goddamn elevator open up. Who the fuck do we got down see? Fucking Steve Tapio. And that nigga say, as the that ass, um, no one here can question Diego or uh, uh Alicia. Emma, what the fuck you mean? My superiors have said no one's a question. I'm going to talk to motherfucking Alicia by myself. And she get he gets paperwork the motherfucking damn uh 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 Tamika ass. So she's like, what the fuck is going on? What's going on? So she got to weasel her way in, time so I'm going in there with you. And nigga turn around and say, No, you're not. And he said, Y'all make sure I'm not, I'm not be a monitor. Baby, Steve walk in. He unhooked the motherfucking damn vi the uh video recorder, unhooked the damn uh microphone and shit. He said from he said from motherfucking Alicia, they get the rapping. She's like, he, he like, you know, I would love nothing more than to take you down right now. But my superiors have advised me otherwise, let y'all go. You and Diego go, right? Boom. So as they talking, she's like, we're what you call too big to fail in your country. Because we have, uh, we have consumed all Lupo, uh, uh, Felipe Lopez. Felipe Lobos' territory. So there hasn't been no drug wars and everything's going smooth, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so as long as everything's going good, or oh, we good, right? Now, in the peep, peep game, Alicia ain't shit. She is a bad bitch. Alicia say, Air 9 again, you may want to, you know, get something for your troubles. Why don't you, why don't you get Diego? No, what no, she say? Keep Diego and let me go. So then, Steve like, oh, it was you, bitch, so you plant the damn gun so that we can get the evidence on your brother. And she, he was like, no, no, no. We ain't gonna, we're not going to kill this motherfucker. If you want to kill that nigga, you kill, you kill him yourself. And we was like, yo, Alicia ain't shit. So that's probably why she ain't been around. Because she was just waiting for the shit go down with her brother. Because she was just like, okay, they got all the evidence that they fucking need against my brother. Why these niggas ain't, can't get his ass yet. Let's move on. Baby. 
they walk out, he walk out, I'm sorry, Steve walk out, she talking to Tamika, talking to motherfucking damn, uh, thought box ass, and she like, you know, what, what's going on, blah, 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 blah. he say, nigga, this is above your, this is above your pay grade, bitch, don't worry about who the fuck I work for, but this is above your rank, bitch, I, I rank you, and the look on that bitch face was fucking priceless, priceless, and bitch, I was here for the shenanigans, I was here for the shit, cause just last week, your superior Tamika just told your dumb ass pause, bitch, pause make sure you have all your motherfucking ducks in a row, for you decide what to do these motherfuckers, but oh, no, 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 no you want the motherfucker down, get busy right now, and you got fucking crushed let's move the fuck on so basically Diego and Alicia getting released, or we got case may be. And baby, as Alicia's walking by, thought by, she looked back at her like, <laughs> "Bye, bitch." <laughs> the look on Alicia's face was like, <laughs> "Bye, bitch." It was just too funny. I died laughing because she had this stupid, dumb look on her face, like, "What the fuck?" So this is the funny part right here too. So she wants to talk to motherfucking damn Steve, you know, one on one. She was like, "Oh, so you with your thought box like, oh, so you use me, blah 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 blah. Was any of this real? You use me, blah blah blah." Steve bust her bubble again. He said, "If you think I have the authority to come in here and do what the fuck I just did right now, bitch, do you really think I need to speak with you to do to get some information, bitch? I already knew fuck you was doing. You just was motherfucking extra." And he walked the fuck off. Made her look, made her look stupid. Made her feel lower than low. And he walked the fuck off. Cause she, you played yourself. You played yourself. I was, I was dead. Done. She played her fucking self. Let's move back on to Tasha. So she had a conversation with her motherfucking mama. You know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. She told her mama. Tasha told her mama all the shit that's going on in the house. Blah blah. She's like, I want to go. I'm, I'm tired of bullshit. I want to leave. So let me go back. Tasha and Ardon found somewhere to stay, X, Y, and Z, either a hotel, a big-ass nice hotel she ran out, or like another apartment, the way it looked, it looked, it looked like a damn apartment, she meet up with fucking damn Terry ass, Terry canceled, at, Terry ass canceled too, I'm gonna tell you why this nigga canceled, so he had this conversation, blah, 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 and he just, he decides to tell her about, you know, Proctor, you know, being questioned on his ethics case, and looking good for him, blah, blah, blah. but he just says, to her in that conversation. Now you know you and the, you and the kids could have come to my house to stay with me. Nigga, what? <laughs> Nigga, who? <laughs> Nigga, say what? I look at my damn phone like, "Nigga, are you fucking stupid?" This bitch is this bitch is still fucking married. You, not only is she married, you were just her fucking damn you were just her husband's fucking attorney. How the fuck do it look, you dumb motherfucker, for your ex-client's wife and her damn kids to be staying with you? Bruh! Nigga, you are canceled! Oh! Let me move the fuck on. Back to Tasha. Tasha in the house, like I said, get her shit together. Pull the clothes, put them in a Louis bag. The mama there with Yasmin. Yasmin already packed and ready and go. Her shit already packed. Blah, blah, blah. He come to the house and he like, you know, uh, Estelle, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. He like, she like, nigga, how you been drinking? So he go back to the, he go back, he go back to the motherfucking bedroom. Blah, blah, blah. And, um, he see Tasha, like I said, picking up shit, throwing it in the bag, blah, blah, blah. He like, what's going on? She like, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. And he was like, you really don't mean that, X, Y, and Z. You really don't mean it, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, you don't mean what you say. You know, we can work it out, X, Y, and Z. Tasha said, Nick, you ain't even grieving right for me. You keep doing what you're doing, and you just fucking up everything. You're not even doing, you're not the same person anymore. You just, you just don't want to fuck shit, right? So, like I said, he, he going back and forth about, you know, you, you still love me, you know, blah, 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 this is not right, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, nigga, watch me, I'm going. So in the process of the conversation, this motherfucker say, you can't do shit for me or our kids, and you want to go, then go. 
I was done. I said, this nigga is not shit for real. But I have to admit, Tasha came back with the comeback. She thought, she thought, oh, no, 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 no. I got me. And I got my fucking kids, nigga. And what you got? Yo, she, she, she said, she said, let me start over. She said, no, nigga, I got me. I got my fucking kids, bitch. And you have what you always had. You, nigga. Deuce. And she bounced. I was like, come through, bitch. Even though you fucking damn four seasons damn behind leaving this nigga because he ain't shit. Uh, bravo for leaving right now. I applaud that bitch. Let's move the fuck on. What else happened this episode? Uh, oh. Last but not least, the reason why this shit was damn called Second Chances, because you know why? Thought Box and her boo thing, James, decided to get back together at the very end, last scene. And I just keep saying to myself, you know, at this particular time, I want them to be together, because those two motherfuckers deserve each other, and I want them to go ahead and be together. So they can be the catalyst for each other's downfall. Because y'all are two dumb motherfuckers. Point blank in the period, in the story. Anyway, I've been on here long enough. That has been my my commentary for this week's power review. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. <clears throat> Don't forget, we have moved the power chat night to Sunday, 9.15ish, 9.30, um, after power goes off for the night. Anyway, y'all comment, like, comment, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back later with another video. Y'all have a great day. Peace. Hey, y'all. It's your girl Nikki Live here once again. How can I forget to mention Dre ass uh, uh, meeting up with Ghost ass? Shit was classic. So, Tay gonna set up a damn meeting uh, with the board. Invites Ghost. Boom. The nigga is blindsided when he see Dre <laughs> in the room. <coughs> Excuse me. Dre putting on the show saying, you know, how it's a delight to be working with you, you know, James. I'm so glad that you're here. <coughs> yada, yada, yada. But peep game. The only reason why Dre even accepted Tate's help is because now it's not gonna be so easy for him to get popped by a uh, ghost of them because he too much he, he gonna be too much in the public eye. So if he come up missing, <coughs> excuse me, it's not gonna be a good look. You feel me? So he did that. He did that only to extend his days on the earth in the earth in, in the world of power. He didn't do that shit because <coughs> excuse me. You know, he didn't do that shit to, you know, to fuck with, to fuck with them. Uh, well, he did it to fuck with Ghost, but he also did it because it's going to extend his days on the earth in the world of power. Because now that they're working together, now that Ghost and Dre are work, working together side by side in such, such a public event, and it's a public venue, it's not going to be so easy for him to get going. So I forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to add that back in. I forgot about Dre and, and Ghost meeting each other in the damn ballroom. That shit was epic. That shit was everything. And once again, I am all here for shenanigans. I am all here for the downfall of ghosts. I'm all here for the bullshit. So again, y'all comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back later. Peace. Ooh.